Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we entered for the first time some sort of leaky prison. Explored around, went into the basement, found a huge water wheel that we apparently need to get running by opening a sluice on the roof, and then I went out the only exit that I could find in the basement where the water wheel is, other than going back the way I came, and that took me right here, where it looks like something big might happen. Feels like there's an, a cutscene coming up or something when I approach this symbol. I also want to touch on what this symbol on the wall means. I mentioned at the end of the last episode that in Silent Hill 3, it was actually described what all of the circles mean in the symbol. I couldn't remember what they were, but I just looked it up on the Silent Hill wiki. The biggest circle on the very outside, the exterior one, represents charity. And then the big one that's one in from that represents resurrection. And then the three circles in the center represent past, present, and future. I think it's especially interesting to think about, because I don't know if this actually has any significance, but I mentioned before, too, that when we enter the holes, this symbol actually surrounds these holes that we use to go back to our apartment. But the thing is, like, the, the outside one or two rings are around the hole, but the inner three rings, the past, present, and future rings aren't there because those are hollowed out to make room for the hole. So does that mean something? Does that does it mean anything that every time we enter one of those holes, we're going through a symbol for charity and resurrection? I mean, I could certainly see the resurrection aspect of it because you go back to the room and it's sort of like a, a new, not necessarily a new cycle starts, but sometimes depending on what you've done in the world, other times it just allows you to save and heal. But it sort of feels like a resurrection. I mean, you wake up in bed every time. Anyway, let's go ahead. I really don't like the look of this. What is this? I can't open it very wide. Oh, is it the little flap thing down here you're talking about? Or the whole thing? What even is it? It looks like a huge door. Is it just an oversized door? Is that just a door handle up here? It's a door for giants? Maybe it's a door for a god. Huh. Can't do anything with it, huh? I can't even imagine what I'm going to do with it. Wait, can't open it wide. Does that mean... So maybe I could, like, shove something in there. I don't have anything to shove, though. I still have this key. Water prison exit key. Up is carved into it. I guess we gotta go back the way we came. That's the only way that goes up. We got a bunch of bugs out here, by the way. Do I have to fight through those things coming out of the wall again? Or are things gonna be different when I come up? Because I don't understand why I would need the key. Get out of my way. I don't understand why I would need the key to go back the way I came, because I didn't need a key coming down, but maybe it's a key to the roof, actually. Where the uh, sluice gate is. I can probably just shortcut to the top. Whoa. It's fine. No, it's not fine. Oh, the other ladder. Oh, whoops. The other ladder is not this way, it's this way. Is this where I've been before? Is this the right place? I don't even know. It's confusing. Yes. Definitely is. Okay. So let's go in this door. Oh, the water prison exit key. Okay, cool. Whoa. We're 
outside. I think. Yeah. weirdly put together place. It's one of the things I love most about the Silent Hill series. It's just the bizarre architecture. Like just thinking about this as a real space, people actually using these walkways and ladders actually get places and, you know, work here and, and service the machines or whatever. It doesn't make any damn sense. A door here and then a couple ladders that go up and down, but then there's also a walkway that goes up and down very, very, very gradually. Uh, let's go in. That didn't sound good. Let me get my gun out. Oh, ew. Leeches. Henry's tracking him, so they are like actual enemies. Um, hmm. I'm guessing if I get too close to them, they will probably suck on me. Ew. I don't want them to fall on me. I don't know if I have to attack them at all, there's so many of them. Ew. Yeah, they fall and stuff. If I'm under them when they fall, I think they probably stick on to me. I see you up there. Come on. Ah, whatever. Some clothes that they put on a drying line up there. Something written on paper, it still looks like a kid's writing. I peed in my pants, I gotta wash them so nobody finds out. Oh, I just saw a shadow. I think someone saw me. Ooh! I fucking hate this. This is so gross. Leeches are so gross. Maybe I'll get a special ending for killing all the leeches. Come on. Fall. Please. I know you're up there. Oh, God. I think it hurt me. It didn't suck on me, though. It just kind of exploded at my feet. Oh, those aren't leeches. Those are the cute little wiggly things. What are they? Are they in the wall? They seem ethereal. I wonder if my, uh, spirit repelling necklace does anything. No. Bottles filled with black powder. 
black powder or black powder? Probably just an indistinct black powder. reach them up there. It's a diary. I've been watching the surveillance room's people the whole time, and sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. Can tell he's there. Is it Walter Sullivan? Wait a second. Has Walter Sullivan been like running this place ever since the last murders? Preparing for the other round of uh, killing ten sinners. This is very satisfying. I wonder... I wonder... Uh, let me see the Red Diary April 4th. I wonder if it's a coincidence that the mass murders by Walter Sullivan took place seven years ago. Seven years was the age of Cheryl, which also was the amount of time it had been since Alessa had their soul split in two. Seven years ago. Maybe Walter's just been capturing people and waiting for seven years for some ritualistic reason before killing another 10 quote unquote sinners. I think the placards, by the way, represent the sins. Like, the first one was the placard of temptation. I guess the sin of temptation was what was attached to Cynthia. And then um, it's stored back at that box at home. But I think the other one was the placard of signs or something. I have no idea what kind of a sin signs is. But I think each one is being, each person's being killed to represent one of the sins. Maybe they were killed for drinking chocolate milk. Oh, those things. What are they? Saw them in one of the cells a while ago. I don't know if they're just like tentacles, sort of, or they're like like feelers or something, or if they're. <sighs> it looks to me sort of like they're filled with helium. Like they look like a bunch of helium-filled balloons bobbing around, you know, as if it's not that they're being pushed up and held erect by muscles or something like that, but rather like the whole thing is being pulled up with helium. It just looks fucking weird. The more I look at them, the more- Oh, shit. The more I look at them, the more they- I think that they look like a bunch of sickly balloons. dry. Well, 
What are those blue things? I think those are what the water pipes. The blue things on the map? Yeah, corresponds to that. Hmm. I want to kill more leeches. I think I got them all. Blissful silence. Should I go up, up, or down? Let's go down. What a strange place. I can't tell if I'm looking at clouds beneath me and I'm that high up or if that's water and we're on some sort of island. Wait, is this where I started from? I think so. Just a shortcut back down? Oh. Yeah, that's all it is. Let's keep going up then. this camera. And I love how my footsteps get quieter as the camera gets further away. We got some more leeches to kill? Yes, we do. With pleasure. Oh, fuck! Uh... Um... Hmm... Did you see it? There's a different type of enemy that I've never encountered before. I've seen it in a trailer for this game that played in the main menu. It was just hanging out back there. Uh, yeah, there, you see it? You see it back there? is fucking terrifying. Oh my god, when I saw it back there. What is it? Does it have hands for legs, sort of, and two f heads? I'm gonna go back to soothing bug stomping. Leech stomping, to be specific. Most bugs I don't have a problem with. I mean, these aren't even bugs, but... You know, creepy crawlies. Oh, there's another one! There's another one! It's pointing at me! Why does it point at me? No, don't, don't, no. It just stares and points at you until you get close. Like it's accusing you. Also, it sort of looks like it has the 
the heads and faces of children. Please, I beg you, come down so I can hit you. This is the final one, and I've been waiting for it to wiggle its way down for like a minute or two. Is that enough? <laughs> it's not enough. I'm gonna come back for it after I visit these different doors. Hey, friend. Do you think those things are supposed to be the leeches? Just... inside? Instead of outside? You know? Something written on the paper. Now it will look like I'm sleeping. Huh? Were those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. They just laid out their clothes on there so it looks like they were there, kind of. If you didn't look very closely, I guess. This place is just... Whoa! Where did you all come from? Okay, more leeches can be triggered by going into rooms. People here were trying to hide themselves. Make it look like they were still there with their clothes. The kid that didn't want anybody to see that they had peed themselves, I think. Jeez, you got some range. I don't know... I don't know if I can reach it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yes! Oh god. Ah, oh, more leeches. I'm just gonna go in all the rooms and spawn all the leeches, I guess. Maybe it's not tied to a specific trigger. Maybe it's just when you leave the spot and come back, there's always more leeches. Because this place is just festering and sick. That's a thought. I still keep pressing the wrong button to get in and out of the map. Uh... Wait, this actually might be the thing I'm supposed to go down. This is what I need to get into the first floor cells, isn't it? It's a hole. Jump in? <laughs> I love that prompt. No, though, let's not. Is that marked on the map? It is. And I just pressed the wrong button again. Take a little bit of time to grow. It's a diary. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. Wait. Is the fact that nobody came out? Is that what makes them think that they're in trouble? It's a diary. We had beef stew yesterday. In the cafeteria, I heard there's a death chamber behind the kitchen, and they take meat straight from the dead people and cook it. That really scared me. Cannibalism? Forced cannibalism? I just pressed the wrong button again. I'm never gonna learn. Clothes lying here. Just 
Just a big stack of books. Can't read them. Ugh, one almost fell on my head. Wait, what? Oh, there's another hole. I thought I'd enter the same room as the one up here. It's a hole. A third one? Huh. Guess you better choose the right one, because you gotta come all the way back up to the third floor if you want to jump down a different one. If this is configured the same way, actually, yeah, we can just go down the floors, right? So on the first floor, does it mark the cell where the person's trapped? I don't think it does. Hmm. Well, the... Oh, hold on. Yeah, okay, so... I don't know, I, I guess this is this probably means something, but I'm not entirely sure what. But these two holes up here, down on the first floor, they look like they'll just leave you trapped inside of cells that you won't be able to get out of, probably. But if we go down this hole, it looks like it takes us to this kind of open spot. Maybe that's the interior chamber, whatever that is. So I'm probably supposed to go down that one. I'm curious what would happen if I went down the others, though. I mean... Are you just left in there to rot? <laughs> and nothing else happens? Let's go back outside. Wait, are the leeches gone? Oh god, no they're here, they just don't make noise anymore. Well, I think my quest to kill all leeches has come to a close. Almost at the top. Should be a sluice up there. I just love this as a set piece. Oh, there's a ladder here. Wait, is there no... Wait, is this a door? Oh, it's a door. I thought there was like no way to the roof, but... No, we're good. It's been forever since I've saved. I'm gonna save state. Checking this place for evil. Something about this very, very, very vaguely reminds me of Myst, the adventure game series. Just the scene, not the game, obviously. Door won't open, seems like it's locked from the inside. to open the sluice gates so that would be these things at each corner open that and then water could go down there maybe the back entrance oh not even an entrance handle here yeah let's do it <laughs> 